Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dmitry Stepanov. So I'm glad to see you all here safe and sound. And today I'm going to tell you about aircraft engineering and modern aircrafts. Uh, so it is my specialization and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do after uh, getting the diploma. So this is the contents of my presentation. So I'll tell you a bit about history, uh, classification of aircrafts and uh, tell you a bit about uh, structural elements of air aircrafts. Uh, about history, first flight, flight was made by brothers Wright, uh, Orville and Wilbur in 1803. Uh, so it was made on a little glider with an engine. Uh, and uh, from this moment the aviation history started. So brothers Wright was, um, you know, like ill with the air, with the flight and uh, from the very childhood they wanted to fly in the, in the air and uh, they had a bicycle shop and uh, all money they made in this shop they uh, invested in their experiments and uh, at the end of the experiments they uh, made a first flight and later they developed their aircraft, their glider uh, more and more and uh, even to nowadays uh, there are such uh, gliders used uh, by different people for the entertainment. Uh, now let's talk about uh, modern aircrafts. Modern aircrafts are divided into two main fields. At first, military aircrafts, because um, any invention, uh, any invention uh, that people develop are used in military sphere like a uh, force to defend uh, borders of uh, any any country and the second one uh, the civil aviation uh, now let's talk more about the civil aviation uh, there are uh, three main direction uh, aircrafts are used in uh, at first passenger airlifting I think you Everybody knows about that and everybody uses it. Uh, the second part, one, cargo carrying uh, aircrafts. Cargo carrying aircrafts uh, are used all over the world and uh, in military sphere and even in civil sphere, but it is one of the directions. And the second one, special operations uh, with aircrafts. Special operations includes um, ministry different um, different operations uh, for example testing new engines uh, and uh, in other words there are many many different operations with aircrafts in this direction so now uh, the second uh, line is military aircrafts military aircrafts are divided into two great groups fighters and bombers uh, the fighters are in their turn are divided in air defense uh, aircrafts, in battlefield aircrafts, strike aircrafts and air to ground aircrafts. Air to ground aircrafts are planes uh, that make motion to the ground to destroy uh, ground forces uh, on the enemy. Uh, the strike aircrafts are aircrafts that are such about a mixture of fighter and uh, a bomber and they are often used in in military sphere uh, bombers bombers are divided into three groups at first strategic uh, aircrafts uh, the range is about uh, 12,000 kilometers and tactical tactical uh, are aircraft with a range about three or four uh, thousand kilometers and battlefield bombers uh, so on these pictures you can see uh, su-25 it is a up to air to ground uh, aircraft fighter russian and uh, on this picture you can see uh, two uh, 160 it is a strategic bomber uh, modern up-to-date strategy bomber developed in Russia. So uh, now let's talk about uh, structural um, elements of aircraft. At first it is divided into two big groups. Uh, first group is a 
airplane. Airplane uh, includes airframe. Uh, it even also includes hydraulics. Hydraulics is a system that uh, makes moving parts uh, units of aircraft. Uh, air conditioning system. Air condi conditioning system is, is a system that uh, makes cabin or cockpit, how it is called in military sphere, um, enough uh, comfortable for humor. Uh, and avionics and landing gears. Avionics is a system of different devices, electrical devices, um, location devices, and another one. There are very, very many units in this sphere. And the second grade group uh, is a power plant. Power plant includes engine, uh, accessories that support uh, its working capacity, and uh, the second, it, the third. Sorry, it includes a fuel system. So now let's talk more about airframe. Uh, airframe has uh, force elements. Uh, it has uh, longitude elements and lateral elements. Um, in this picture, you can see wing. Wing is a part of aircraft airframe itself. Uh, airframe is divided into uh, fuselage, uh, wing, and uh, the third structure is feathering uh, element. So, on this picture you can see uh, such element uh, like a rib, it is a wing lateral force element, a uh, spar, a wing long longitude force element. Uh, so, you can see stringers here on the picture. So, and uh, what about fuselage? It also has uh, force elements uh, such as bulkheads, such as stringers, and uh, sometimes even spars, and it depends on its construction. Uh, so, uh, further, let's talk about power plant. Power plant consists, uh, as I said uh, earlier, consists on engine and on fuel system and uh, on some and other accessories. Uh, about fuel system, uh, it consists on tanks, fuel tanks, and uh, pumps that makes fuel um, get the engine. Uh, so about engines, uh, there are three main types of engines. Uh, at first, uh, internal combustion engine. It has a blade that uh, makes uh, aircraft pushing from the air, atmosphere air. Uh, Turbo jet engine. Uh, it also uh, pushes it from the air, atmosphere air, but uh, has a, and another principles of um, you know work, another principles of work. And uh, the third one, turbo fan engine. Uh, this uh, type of engine, uh, in in its appearance, uh, is like a internal combustion engine. It also has a blade. So this is all that I wanted to tell you today, so thank you guys for your attention and bye.